Lagi ko sinasabi sa anak ko, Anak, dati, ba't ka ba papasok ng heaven? Anak mo ko eh. <laughs> Di ba, gano'n gano sana eh. Sa paniniwala ko, sa pupunta yung tatay, doon yung mga anak. Sabi ko, no. Pwede nandun ako, nasa baba ka. <laughs> Kasi personal yun. It's a personal decision. Unless a person receive a revelation from God, he will remain in the flesh and not of the spirit. That's right. That's why Jesus said in Peter, Peter, <coughs> blessed are you. Because it was revealed to you by my heavenly Father. And because of that revelation, because of that connection, Peter received authority. He said, I give you the keys of the kingdom. Whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatsoever you lose on earth shall be loose in heaven. That's why if we have a governmental authority, all principalities of the air, spiritual wickedness, in high places, every demonic spirit in, in hell, They will fear you, not because you are fearful, but because you know your God-given authority. Yes. Only Peter received it. Eleven, they are just... <laughs> you know, what I feel during I read it, I feel, may sama na love yung eleven kay Jesus you see what? Why? They left everything and followed Jesus. And then only Peter received a reward. Ang masakit, hindi isang susi binigay. Plural. The keys. The keys. Amen? Amen? Keys are only for the mature. Many of you have cars. <laughs> Try to give it to a five-year-old boy. <laughs> it's not for him. <laughs> Ang American people gusto pag nagbakasyon lahat. Minsan isang buwan. Iwan mo sa seven years old yung susi. This is the key. Ingatan mo to kasi pag uwi natin baka hindi tayo makapasok. No? These are only for the mature. sabi mo sa katabi mo, wala pa lang susi ang imatsyon. <laughs> no? You know, but thank God, God has a promise for those na walang key. Because God loves us. And the promise is, knock and it shall be open. To you. Amen? But the problem wala kang 24-7 access. Yung may susi lang ang 24-7 access. Sabi ko, si Sierra ko sa ng toilet. Sabi niya, wait, bakit? Kumuha ng key, bubuksan daw. So kahit na doon ako, magkakatok ako, maghapon, walang susi, di makakapasok. Pero yung may susi, anytime. Amen? 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 Amen. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, kung hindi nagising yung tao doon sa kabilang pinto. Maghihintay ka. But keys are an access. That's why when we are connected to Jesus Christ in a right place at the right time and right connection, then we receive authority. And that authority will be used to push God's agenda sa buhay mo, sa buhay ng family mo, sa buhay ng pamilya mo, sa buhay ng church, you can push. And then, the devil know na hindi siya pwede kasi alam mo. That's authority. First, the law of connection, meron ba tayo dyan? The law of connection. The law of connection. Just a powerpoint, Paki. Kasi baka hindi ako matapos. 
the law of connection yan wala <laughs> connection <laughs> Yung dinidiscuss ko, yun yun eh, the law of connection. When Peter received a revelation from the Father, kung sino si Jesus Christ. So, Peter or the church is connected to heaven. Wala. So, it does not have an origin here on the earth. So Jesus is the head of the church is seated beside the Father in his throne. Kaya yung church very powerful. Kasi si Jesus ang head nito. So when the disciples are connected to Jesus then God wants to empower them as Jesus was empowered after the baptism. That's why Jesus said, go to Jerusalem. Tarry. Wait for the promise of my Father. For you will receive dunamis power, authority, when the Holy Spirit will come upon you. Amen. So the second point, if we want to receive governmental authority we need to be to be established in the truth that we are sent you know when you are sent you are commissioned and then when you are commissioned then the sender will see to it that you will fulfill your mission amen amen I'm here because I want to. I'm here because I know God sent me for a purpose. And I believe that when God sent you, He will prepare everything. Amen? Amen. He will prepare everything. People, places, he will prepare it in advance. And then when you know that you are sent, you have faith and confidence that you are able to do everything that He commanded you. Uh, Merong film eh, hindi yung mga modern ngayon na Mission Impossible ni Tom Post. Yung dati pang mission at may possible, yung mga panahon ng Hawaii Five Book, naalala mo ba yun? <laughs> Mas bata sa akin ang isang paligid. Right? No? Yung mission impossible, hindi siya probinsyano. Yung palabas na probinsyano ng TFC, iyahang ka lagi. Diba? To be continued. Yeah. Yung Mission Impossible noon, pagdating sa dulo at tapos na yung one hour, ang nalagay, Mission Accomplice. Walang to be continued. So habang naalala ko siya, oh, ang galing. Pag inutusan yung mga American sa Germ Germa Germany, nakahanda lahat yung mga tamang tao. Then pagdating sa dulo, babalik na sila mission accomplished. Why? Because the sender see to it that everything will be used for the accomplishment of their mission. Amen. That's why when we, God said go, no, go, proclaim the gospel, heal the sick, God gave them authority. Amen. Remember they were Galileans. Hindi sila, hindi sila nag-aral sa Berkeley, tsaka sa UCLA. Aral sila sa Guzman Institute of Technology. <laughs> Pero, binabaan sila ng power ng Holy Spirit. They became different person. 
That's why the Pharisees said, Ang oh, mga Galileans to, mga unlearned to, sa sila kumuha ng tanino, sa sila kumuha ng galing. Because they were sent. They were commissioned. They were deputized. At nakabakap sa kanila kung sino yung naguto sa kanila. Amen? Amen. Meron akong natutunan. If there is a vision, ano ba sunod? There is provision. If there is no vision, solicitation. <laughs> That's the way it is. Because God is obliged no, obligado siya pag inutusan ka, uh, i-provide lahat. Hallelujah. Yeah. Minsan nga may nagme-message sa akin. Eh. Bili mo ako ng ganito ha. Kasi pawi. Bili mo ako ng ganito. <laughs> Wala namang binigay na pito. <laughs> Diba? Sinayin pa sa messenger ang picture. Kinakalangan ba? Wala namang binigay na pito. <laughs> Pag umuwi ako at hindi ko dala yun at nagalit sa akin, hindi pwede. Pero kung binigyan niya ako ng pera at hindi ko binili, may karapatay siyang mga. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, saan mo ginagamit ang power of God na binigyan sa akin? So if you are set, the sender see to it that you will accomplish everything. Yes. That you Kaya kung binigyan ang hope ng mission at galing nyo sa Diyos, no power of the enemy yes. yeah. can hinder. Yeah. Wow. So yung governmental authority, the law of connection, and then, you know, you are sent by God. No? That's why in the Philippines, there are so many things happening now in the Philippines concerning the word of God. Sana lang ang hinihintay ko yung katulad namin dumating ulit. Kasi nung araw, nung 80s, hindi namin naiisip magtrabaho. Hindi namin naiisip magpatuloy magtrabaho. Ang naiisip namin, magpastor. Pero ngayon, tanungin mo, Sino ang gustong magpastor? Walang nagtataas ng kamay. Hello? Sino ang gustong magpastor dito? Taas ang kamay. Isa. Sa dinami-dami, no? no? Sa Pilipinas, ang mga young people, pag tinanong mo, Sino ang gustong magpastor? Hindi magtataas ng kamay. Tanayin mo, Sino ang gustong sumuporta sa pastor? Lahat. Pero nung 80s kami, nasa isip namin mga pastor. And we are looking forward na bumalik yung Atpus Mir na yun. Amen? 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 Amen. 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 Alam nyo, magsasalita uli ako dun sa American Church sa Sonoma na iniwan ko sila ng napakapangit na mensahe. Pero pinabalik nila ako. <laughs> ang etong pang na mensahe sa kanila mindset sabi ko I'm grateful American people hindi ako makapagtaglis nahagilap ko yung kasunod oh? go. and this is now a payback time because 1800 you came in our land and bring the truth of the gospel Kaya sabi ko, yung katolikong isip na marami, na bago, karoon ng evangelio. Then I'm grateful to you, sabi ko sa kanila. You bless so many country to Trinity Broadcasting Network. Yeah. Ba! Nagulat sila nung salita na akong ba! Di ba nagura? Ba! I have something against you. Buti may sumigaw. Telas! 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 Yan, nakabelo. May sumigaw ng telas. Sabi ko, 
I spent more than 100,000 pesos to be here. Not just to say, God loves you. I'm here with a message. Then, ganun pala sila, no? Preach it! Preach it! Preach it! <laughs> huh? Sabi ko ba, oh, okay ito. Okay. okay ito. Then I said, I thought you are spiritual American people. Puro Americano, walang Pilipino. But I cannot think and comprehend in my mind that you allow abortion. That you allow same-sex marriage. Then, unti-unti na silang ano? Sabi ko bigla. Total, alis na ako. Sabi kong gano'n. Sasab sabi ko sa English, ha? Total, alis na ako. Sasabihin ko na sa inyo lahat. Baka hindi ko makabalik. At least, hindi ko nagsisisi. Pag alis ko, wala. Ba't di ko nasabi yun? Ba't di ko nasabi yun? After that, doon ko na nasabi si Obama pag nanalo at si McCain natalo at si Palin. Palagay ko, ang kamay ng Diyos mabigat na si Hino. At hindi na ako babalik. No? Tapos nung tapos na ako, kipitan akong pastor. Niyakap ako. Kinuha yung mic. Kala ko, magpa-plug si Raymond nila kami. <laughs> Maya may sabi niya, anybody wants to be prayed for? Si Charles, yun ang dadatinan, niyayakap ako. Sabi ng gano'n, sa kasaysayan ng church na to, ngayon lang may bisita hindi kami binola. Hindi <laughs> 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 kami binola. Kundi sinabi yung totoo. Kaya, after 10 years, nalaman na dito ako. Balik daw ako doon sa hindi. Mag-click daw ako. Masasabi ko na, I'll return because Umaba is out. <laughs> huh? So you see, the power of the mind in line with God's truth, in line with God's word. So if we learn this, as God wants us to receive it, then we can face these storms in life. No weapons that form against us will prosper. Why? Because we know our position and authority. Last few months, I went to different bloodiest places in Mindanao. The first one is in Nipil, Sibugay, in Mindanao. Ito yung nilusog ng mga Abu Sayyaf Sinunog ang bayan, pinatay lahat ng taong nakita sa kalsada on a broad daylight. Then my second, no, this year then, Sambuanga City. Yung, yung nagkaroon ng Sambuanga Seeds sa bayan, nag, nagbabanata. The third one is in Marawi, Lanao, Dela Bayan. I think that was June. I am in the middle of 100% Muslim. Then sabi sa akin, don't pray in Jesus' name. And your imam, yung mga mata nila, iba eh, iba yung mga marawa. Sabi niya, just pray in the name of God. God. Then I speak, and soldiers came. And I I share about the love. They believe in Isa. Isa is Jesus. But, as a prophet, saan ako muhugot ng tapang? Then sabi ko kay Pastor Noli, this December 5 to 11, kasi sabi niya, December 9, gather kami ng mga old friends. Sabi ko, sorry. Si December 5 and 11 kami mag-asawa. Doon kami naman sa Tawi-Tawi. A beautiful place. A very peaceful place like Boracay. Hindi mo alam kung kailan may sasabog. <laughs> no? Tawi-tawi at basilag. But I believe, God has given us authority. Yes. And the powerful institution on earth is not the intellectual. It's not the politician. 
It is the church. Because even the gates of hell will not prevail against it. Amen? So, I challenge you, because we're all Christian. I challenge you, especially in this Kairos time in America, to be serious about your relationship with them. I challenge you to give time in the presence of the Lord right. and start to asking the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, reveal yourself to us. Unfold the truth right. in your word. Right. Let me hear that still small voice in you. Right. Why? Because yung faith mo magbibilda up lang kapag yung word of truth ang narisig mo. Because faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. But not the outer hearing, but the hearing of our spirit. That's why in book of Revelation, let them that have an ear listen to what the spirit is saying. So when you as a family of hope, receive so many revelations from God by the power of the Holy Spirit. Your faith will be built up in the word of the Lord. And then you will be, as a church, an instrument to push God's agenda in Los Angeles, California. Maybe you, are, you think you are few. You are only few. Remember, one can chase a thousand. Amen. Two can chase ten thousand. Chase ten thousand. God is looking for a remnant. A group of people that will be entrusted with authority to push the kingdom. You know the Jesus Ways a phenomenon celebration in Manila? It was started by a simple lady. A layman from Cebu. A simple lady, a layman from Cebu, received a revelation from God to honor the Lord Jesus Christ out of 365 days to give Jesus a day of celebration. She's an ordinary. She's challenged Cebuano for that. And Cebu is a Catholic. Uh, base but you know because of that revelation on the November 30, 2012 almost 15,000 Cebuanos show up in Cebu declaring that Jesus is alone Amen. not Pedro Calunso, the saint of Cebu not any idols but only Jesus Christ is the true King Amen. and the true Lord of sin. And then, after a few months, she received an instruction from the Lord to do it simultaneously in three islands of the Philippines. One in Luzon, one in Visayas, one in Mindanao, simultaneously. 2013, November 30. A simple lady received a revelation. God gave her authority. It happened. November 30, 21 in Cebu, one in Tondo, one in General Santos in Mindanao. After a few months, she was instructed to do it in 82 provinces of the whole Philippines. From Batanes to Tawi Tawi, the true in Bulaga. <laughs> Kasi wala naman, hindi naman nakakarating sa remote places yung Ibulaga eh. And then she said, God, how can I do it? But you know, because God gave her authority, 2014, 81 provinces simultaneously celebrate honoring Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Bakit may kulang na isa? Pinagbawalan ng mga military yung Sulu. Sabi ng Sulu, 
Huwag kayong mag-parade Kasi may parade Huwag kayong mag-parade Bakit? Baka biglang may maghagis ng Muslim na journey But 2015 82 provinces Why? Because Sulu is stand up Kumawit sila Ang mamatay ng dahil sa'yo no? They do parade And then when they show out the video Three mobile car of policemen Ang nasa harapan And then one platoon of soldiers Nasa likod Habang nagpaparada sila Nakumpleto 82 provinces A simple lady And then after that in Hong Kong, a, late, a pastor lady in Japan, in Tokyo, learned it. She said, Oh, I want to do it in Japan. Less than one person, Christian. She went to Cebu, watch it. And then 2015, 2016, the first celebration in Japan, in Tokyo. Then the Filipino, meron lang here po. Bakit? Hapon lahat eh. <laughs> Sila ang gumagawa Pero pattern sa Philippines Then Indonesia Surabaya Said we want that A place last June Tatlong beses binomba Isang simbahan ng sinuno Doon ang place last June When Jesus reigns And then Hawaii Came From Kauai Kauai Kawai or Hawaii para pala, para pala mga kapampangan yun yung kuha Hawaii, hindi pala Hawaii Hawaii no? nag-celebrate sila then may nag-celebrate so we are praying one day mainland will follow we are praying one day one day meron din dito but I want to emphasize that lady is only a layman. She's not a pastor. A worship leader than you. Just singing in the church with a small uh, number. Not a big church. But she learned a revelation from the Lord. That God can do something in us. If we really connected to Him. Amen. I know with the group of these people, you can spark the fire or you can ignite the fire Amen. and spread the flame. Yes. Shall we give a clap of praise to God? Thank you all, everyone. And I will pray for you. Heavenly Father, I'm grateful and thankful. Grateful to you that I can speak your word and share it to your people. Father, thank you for Filipinos are scattered all over the world because of your divine purpose. They are here because you will use them Amen. to bring transformation, yes. to bring revival right. in Los Angeles, California, yes. and to all states in America. What I receive from you, O oh God, I declare. To your wonderful people. I ask you to open their spirit wide. As you open the spirit of Peter and receive a revelation from the Father. Let these people of yours receive not information but receive a revelation That's right. from you, oh yeah. Father. I pray for this place. 
let it be an open heaven. Like in the Garden of Gethsemane, when Jesus kneeled down and asked you, that place was an open heaven. And he heard the Father saying, Go on, my son. You need to be nailed on the cross for people. Lord, let this place be an open heaven. Amen. Let the Holy Spirit, Lord, continuously hover in this place and bring life, bring truth, bring power in the name of Jesus. I pray, Lord, on this pulpit. Everyone, O oh Lord, who will stand in this pulpit and open the Bible and start to speak your word, continue, Lord, to release a progressive revelation from you so that their faith will not be established because of the thinking and philosophy of men, but their faith will be established through the revelation Amen. word of the Lord. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for the authority that you have given. Amen. We come again.